My name is Mike Burke with Denison Yachting. I'm out of the Palm Beach office, but drove down this morning early to Fort Lauderdale, Florida, where we got aboard the 106 San Lorenzo Freddy. One of the things I love about this boat the most, it's got a 20 foot beam and it's all windows, as you can see. You also have this nice open sliding door with the balcony we're gonna show you later. And then you've got a full beam master forward. In addition to all the natural lighting with all the windows, she's got a great floor plan layout, if you will. She's got a five stateroom layout, and for a boat this size, it's awesome. She also charters out for about $80,000 a week. So if you're looking to offset your expenses for the boat, it's a great one to charter with the five stateroom layout. With the salon being so large that it is, you have dining here for 10, you have a big TV on the wall, and then you open the starboard door up, and it takes you right into an on-deck galley, where you can shoot right up to the pilot house and have a morning cup of coffee. As much as I like the wheelhouse below, my favorite spot is this upper station here where the captain runs the boat a majority of the time. You have the open air, the open seas. The nice thing about running the boat from the upper station is you have a nice vented window over here, which you can take a look over to your starboard side and see where you're at when it comes to docking. You also have your balanced stern thruster and all your controls, so all your electronics, everything that you have down below in the pilot house is duplicated up here. Port side, we have seating for a couple people over here that has great visibility. You can look forward or you come back here to this overly large wet bar with a sink back there, barbecue grill here, ice makers and refrigeration all underneath. And across from the bar, which is where I'd be spending most of my time outside having dinner or breakfast, since you have a five state room boat here, you're gonna have 10 guests normally, which would include everybody. So it's a great place for the whole family to come up. And on the aft deck, you have a great open seating area with chase loungers. You also have shade if you like shade. Everybody down here in Florida is trying to get out of the sun, but everybody from up north wants to get in the sun, so you can have it both ways. It's the same thing on the bow. You have shading up there as well. Another really sexy feature about this boat, it has an overly large hard top that's in a metallic silver, but if you go up top to the radar arches and all the domes, they're all matte black. So at night when this boat's lit up, it looks super cool. Up top here, we have a couple satellite domes, a couple radars up here. We also have sat TV, everything you need to keep you connected to the real world. We're gonna head down now and show you the aft deck area where you got great seating down there as well. But if you notice on this stairwell, it's very safe. You're walled on both sides. So if you have grandchildren, or you're a pet lover and you want your dog to come up these stairs, it's very easy for them to navigate, even if it's rough out. Coming down from the upper deck, you walk through this solid door here. And when you close it, it actually blends in to the rest of the wall. So you have one door over here, you have the salon door here, and then you have access to the engine room. And if I'm not up top having a cocktail at the bar up there, this is my second favorite place you'll find me on the aft deck. Having dinner al fresco, having a cocktail, or just a cup of coffee, reading the paper, watching the other boats go by. And over here, you have a, a swing door open to the ladder going down to the dock. You have one on the port side as well. And then immediately after, you have a submersible swim platform that you can also board the boat by and come up the stairs to the aft deck. You got this overly large swim platform back here that goes up and down. You also have the Euro transom so you can enter from port or starboard with stairs coming up and down. This garage door lifts up and it tucks away two nice large jet skis which slide out and then this boat tows a 33 foot tender so it doesn't really have anything on its back deck which makes for a great swim platform for the grandkids or for you to get in and out while snorkeling and diving. The last exterior space we need to check out is the bow area. It needs to be noted that this boat also has a slide out drop down balcony that would give you about two feet that flips out with a large sliding glass window that opens up giving you a massive cross breeze throughout the salon. We're coming past another service door right here where the crew can come in and out and this boat being a full walk around is great for that. Not only for the crew safety, but for also for the grandkids or any of your friends that, that are walking around the boat. And coming forward, it brings us all the way to the fore deck here where you have this massive seating area. This table can drop down and you can have a big sun pad. Or personally, this would be where I would have my cigar and enjoy a sunset with my wife. We have these four stanchions here, which give us the nice bimini shade, which gives you the cover in the late afternoon sun so you don't have to sit out here and bake. Also, you have this ground tackle up here that looks like it would be on a 140 footer. Dual anchors, dual windlass, all chrome with this big raised bull nose going all the way around the front. Again, what you'd see on a much larger yacht. This boat being a 106 San Lorenzo is way larger than it sounds. On today's sea trial, we've seen Freddie reach a full speed of 30 knots, which is unbelievable for a boat this size. 
She cruises effortlessly at, at 22 knots with a 68% load at 1900 RPM. To say this boat is exceptionally fast for a motor yacht this size is probably an understatement. Of course, you can cruise her at 12 knots and be efficient and burn way less fuel if that's what you're looking for. Next, I wanna take a quick pit stop up here where the captain runs the boat in the wheelhouse. So when the weather's not so great, you don't wanna be upstairs, you can come down here, cruise in the comfort of air conditioning, all your electronics, all your controls, bow and stern thruster. This is where the engines turn up. This is where you see your RPMs. Again, we, uh, we talked about the speed on this boat, 22 knot cruise if you want to, 30 knots wide open for a boat this size, she's flying. After being outside and showing you all the great spots that you can eat and drink and hang out with your family, we decided to bring you back inside so that you can take up some of this AC and this beautiful natural light in this overly large, massive salon area. What stands out to me the most is the Italian build and design. They're known for their architectural lines and interiors. The openness of the whole salon is very bright and open, and of course the colors are very warm nice bar with an ice maker and refrigerator along with a pop-up TV. So this TV can be seen along with that TV from pretty much anywhere in your seating area. And then over here on the starboard side, part of the couch, you have a recliner right here. So if you're in the mood for a nap, you can kick back and relax. As we move forward in the boat, this is a great option here. Very few boats have this. This whole door slides open, giving you access to the walkway. But more importantly, that balcony drops down. So you can put a couple chairs out there and then you can walk forward to the bow. So everywhere on the boat, because it's a five state room, odds are you're gonna have at least 10 guests, maybe a couple grandkids. You can have seating for 10 back there, up top, and now down here. Coming into the starboard area here, you have access to the pilot house up top, and then you also have access to the galley you move through and go to the cruise quarters. We just finished up in the crew and galley area. We're gonna move forward on the port side. You have a day head here on the, on the starboard side. You have access to the walkway around the boat right here. You also have a set of stairs going down to the four staterooms, which we'll visit in a bit. And then right in here is kind of a neat little area here that you have a coffee bar area. So if you don't wanna bother anyone, you can actually get up and make your own coffee or grab it and then proceed forward here. And here in the closet, you have these full floor to ceiling mirrors. And forward of the hanging closet, you have this nice makeup vanity sit down powder area. And the stateroom on this 106 San Lorenzo is just mind boggling the amount of space. Normally you see an on deck master with all this window and all this area, normally on a 120 tri deck or a 125 tri deck, but they've actually got this on deck master in a 106. One of the greatest features in this whole stateroom is the blackout windows. You can actually lower all these windows, they're on electric shades, and make it like a blackout like you're in Vegas, sleep until noon. And moving aft, you have two separate stalls in the in suite head, one for the shower, one for the head, marble walls mirrored up. It's beautiful. As I mentioned earlier, this is one of the few boats of this size that actually has five staterooms. We're gonna leave the master now, and I'm gonna take you downstairs to the other four staterooms, which are more or less all the same size. And at the foot of these stairs in the guest companion way, follow me back to the two staterooms, the kind of mirror image. Today we're gonna to look at the port side with a king berth. As we come into the stateroom, I want you to notice all the cabinetry up top and down below. The storage in the stateroom is phenomenal. You got hanging closet storage from ceiling to floor, and this bed actually physically lifts up where you can actually store waters and sodas and whatever else you might need. And then you head over aft and go into the ensuite head. What makes the staterooms on the San Lorenzo feel so large and so open, you have these two sliding doors that actually can come shut but normally stay open, giving you full access and another three feet of room where you have a sink, a shower, and a head behind me. You can easily see how large and open this is, but should you want to close this for a little bit of privacy, you close these doors and snap them shut, and the ensuite is closed off completely. Because this boat has a 20-foot beam, as we discussed earlier, you're actually able to get two king bursts that mirror image each other. In addition to all the light and all the storage, at the foot of the bed, you have a TV with a makeup mirror. The same with the ensuite head, just like in the other stateroom. And leaving here and heading forward, we're gonna hop into the port stateroom. When you first step in, the stateroom looks a lot like the other two. However, when you come over here to the outboard side, you're looking at the ensuite head through the door, not the pocket doors. Like the other two aft staterooms, these two staterooms forward are mirrored. They are actually two twin beds that are pushed together. So if you have a couple on board, you can make it a, a king berth, 
or if you have grandkids that want twin beds and separate beds, you can separate them. This is something we see in the starboard stateroom. The neat thing about this fourth and final stateroom, as you can see, you've got two twin beds here, which gives you the flexibility of keeping them separated if you have children, which in the charter world is a huge plus because it makes it flexible. You can have five couples, you can have two couples and kids. It just adds versatility to the whole program. Thank you for joining us today aboard the Motor Yacht Freddy, the 2017 106 San Lorenzo. She truly is a very special yacht. She's located right here in Fort Lauderdale. Call me for a private tour so that you can come check her out yourself.